Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We've got to talk about potential tropical cyclone eight. It might never get a name. It is barely struggling to get organized, but it is producing a lot of impacts in the form of wind and rain. So what you need to know about this system is it's looping here. I'm going to pause it and show you the center of circulation is where these red dots are. That's where the consensus model wants to take this. But look at where all the weather is. And this is a great example of why you don't focus on the center of the storm. All the bad weather is here. The center of the storm is down here where almost nothing is happening. Um, this is going to push inland very slowly towards the Charlotte area, but it's this area of impacts, the rain and wind, that we've got to watch this afternoon and into tonight. There's a very good chance this may never get a name. It may become a tropical depression or storm briefly, but don't get caught up in the labels. The real story is the rain and some of the wind. On the coast, they're getting the worst of it. Around Wilmington right now, you can see that line of thunderstorms. There's actually winds in there up to 60, 70 miles per hour off the surface, which means down at the ground, you're probably getting winds that are close to 40 or 50 miles per hour. If we go back here, I'm gonna turn on the wind speeds here for a second, just to show you some of the wind gusts we're going to see um, currently out there. So we look at some of these wind gusts. Some of the gusts right around the Wilmington area are getting up there. Um, let's look at this one right here. I'm trying to see what this, what station this is. Let's get a little closer to Wilmington. That's Wilmington's actual observation point. And you can see the winds are gusty to about 39 knots, so about 45 miles per hour or so. So pretty strong winds in the Charlotte area. We've got breezy conditions as well, almost not directly associated with this system. So a couple things to keep in mind today. The winds are going to pick up. We could see gusts to 30, 35, maybe 40 miles per hour. Um, but they're not going to be anything that's going to be too dangerous. The concern would be if you get some wind and some rain that eventually could knock down um, some power lines. As we look at the rainfall totals, this is likely going to be the biggest story with this system. You could see a big swath of six to seven inches at the coast, but when you get closer to Charlotte, you're looking at anywhere from three to four inches. So this is going to be a big rainmaker today, tonight, and into Tuesday until it moves out. We'll quickly look at the forecast. This is the forecast from this morning. Just trust me, this will be updated again. It might even shift a little bit east, but you can see it's going to be lingering over us at least through Wednesday. But it doesn't mean the worst weather is going to last through Wednesday. It just means the remnant low will be over. So let's take a quick check of the future cast. So what's interesting, when you look at the future cast or the model data, it still thinks it's going to be a little further south than it actually is on radar. So this is why there is some uncertainty on how bad or how good the conditions could be. But you can see the circulation moves inland fairly quickly today. The heavy rain spreads into Charlotte during the afternoon into the evening and likely into Tuesday. So you can see this heavy rain over us for tonight. And then you go into tomorrow morning and the system kind of opens up and weakens. So even though that low or the remnants of whatever PTC-8 or Helene or Tropical Depression-8, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be lingering over us at least through Tuesday and then it's going to start to weaken and maybe move out. So there could be some lingering showers in the middle of the week, but as you can see, the worst impacts are going to be today, tonight, and early tomorrow as that heavy rain band moves. One word of caution for my followers out to the east, there is an area to watch in particular. This band right here, tomorrow afternoon and even later today, that's the area if we're going to see tornadoes, they're going to be within that band. So from central North Carolina to eastern North Carolina, Raleigh, Durham, Greenville, um, Morgan City, out towards the Outer Banks, that would definitely be an area I would watch for tornadic storms. But that's a look at the system this morning. It's kind of fascinating that uh, all the models think the low is down here, but the circulation seems to be reforming over Wilmington. So definitely a rough morning on the coast. Get ready. We need the rain. This is one of those systems, while yes, it's technically a tropical or subtropical low, it's probably not going to have as big an impact as you would think for it in the system that has a name. And for the Western Carolinas, this could end up being a blessing in disguise as we get some much needed rain. I will post updates throughout the day, um, but stay tuned to WCNC Charlotte. We'll keep you covered as the rain moves in.